Okay, hello folks, welcome back. This will be uh, part two of the tutorial on how to use the uh, chat GPT AI feature in the Bible app, or in my Bible apps. Uh, this time we're going to be using the NRSV version of the Bible. Okay, but before we get into the tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you a few features of the uh, NRSV Bible, which is in all my Bible apps. Uh, then, after I show you a few features, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into the train on how to use the chat GPT feature, which uses AI technology. You're going to love this. Uh, just stick with me here. Be patient with me, and I thank you for being patient with me. Hey there. Okay, Do you um, ever wish you could find more this is hours the uh, day to work with your free version, but the paid version, you get no ads. Okay? And real quick, of course, you got to listen to the Bible, listen by chapters. Okay, let me show you a quick version of that. Leviticus. Leviticus 4. And of course, you can listen to the Bible. Okay. Then from there, uh, you can listen to the Bible by chapters. Um, and then you can read the Bible, of course. Let's go to a parallel Bible, or the parallel Bibles. You got the NRSV version right here and the NIV version. So you can read those in comparison or in parallel. Okay. Um, okay, you got your study tools, you got your Bible maps, daily Bible living, devotionals, podcasts, uh, questions and answers, Bible media, ringtones, uh, songs, and wall, uh, quotes, wallpapers, or backgrounds. As a matter of fact, let's change our background here. Um, let's see. I want to get another background. Because the one we're using, um, it's kind of, it's kind of light, but we're going to use another background. Okay, uh, let's try that one. Okay, I'm going to set that one. Okay, and let's go ahead and set it. Okay. And now... Okay, on both of those, now we have a new background. Okay, it didn't change. Okay. Oh, maybe it did. Okay, there it is. Okay. All right. So, let's get back into it. Okay. And we're going to find out how we use the chat GPT features and what you can do with this. This will change your Bible study. You'll be a Bible scholar after you finish this. I don't know why every family but, in Georgia hasn't claimed this yet. Sorry about the, the government ad, is basically but giving the me one thousand. Will have no ads. Okay. Now this will be the second activity, and as you can see, I've installed prompts at the top here. Okay, that wasn't there at first. So this will help you as as you 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 search to find questions or what to ask the chat uh, chat uh, GPT. So what we're gonna do, um, and we're gonna go to uh, it corrects hearsay in the Bible. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, ask a question, and as, as before, if I speak it, I'm just gonna use a microphone, so it's gonna be a blank sound or no sound at all. That's gonna come back. So let's try that. Um, Gonna go and ask a question. Ask me a question that many Christians get wrong. Oops. And was the correct interpretation of the concept of the Trinity in Christianity? Okay. That's a question that many Christians get wrong. What I'm gonna do is uh I'm just going to answer a question. I'm going to make it wrong. Actually. Well, I'm going to make it wrong. Um, let's see. That there are, let's see, three gods. Okay, let's see what it says. And it's correcting the doctrine. 
Okay, actually, according to Orthodox Christian theology, the correct interpretation of the concept of the Trinity is there is one God and exists in three distinct persons. Okay, so it answered that question. It corrected the hearsay, <clears throat> you know, that many Christians get wrong. One of them is that Paul says um, that women should speak and not uh, listen and not be heard, which is a false doctrine. Paul doesn't say that. So that's just one. Okay. So let's go ahead and clear it. Okay. Now let's use the prompts. Okay. And I've incorporated the prompt the feature in the top is bar. This from you, so pay attention okay. before it gets taken down again. So right now, the government is getting. Let's look at the prompts. Okay. Let's see. Some of these went over before. But I'm going to show you how to use the prompts real quickly to go ahead and get an answer. Okay, let's do, let's do this one. Uh, one of them is, is hell a real place? Let's do that one. Okay, so I'm just going to copy it. Copy it. <laughs> I'm trying to copy it. Let's try it again. Okay, let's see. Copy it. I'm going to go back, put it in the message, and of course, you can edit this if you want, but I'm just going to go with that one for right now, okay, and let's go ahead, let's give me an answer, is hell a real place, the concept of hell varies among different belief systems and religions, for hell is considered a real place of punishment, okay, that's what it says, and of course, you can elaborate more, or you can ask, for another answer, another answer, something like that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Here's another answer. Okay. So there you have it. Okay. So let's move on. Oops. Uh, what I'm going to do is delete this one and I tell you what I'm going to do use another prompt okay let's see another prompt would be how about give me some statistics on Bible reading that's a good one find out how many people are reading the Bible and so forth get some stats going on okay my finger just don't want to act right here. Okay, let's copy that. And of course, when you go to the message part, hey there. Do you, you ever wish you could find more hours in the day to work with your client? Okay. You can always edit. Okay. So let's paste it there. On day you can say on daily Bible reading or whatever you want to do. It's that versatile, okay? And we're getting an answer. Okay. Give me some statistics on Bible reading. Fruits of the Bible reading according to a survey conducted by uh, Barna Group. About one third of Americans are probably reading the Bible at least once a week. Okay. And so on. Okay. And here's some more statistics. Okay. Just general information. Okay. All right, let's delete that. Okay, let's get a real good one. Um, how about this? This can actually give you a prayer. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get a real one. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the prompts. Okay, here's one. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see. I can't get that last, that first. <laughs> All right. Let's do it like this. Okay. Let's copy that. Okay. How about I? 
Okay. I feel I'm going to relapse. I need prayer for help. Okay. Let's see what chat AI does. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's try this one. I am Okay, how about this? Bible scriptures. Bible scriptures for help relapsing. Let's see, let's see what happens with that. And like I said, this is the test that I'm conducting, relapsing, relapsing. Oops. Okay. 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 Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, let's try this one. Um, I'm going to use the microphone for this. All right. My question was, let's see, I have a job interview coming up. Can you provide me with Bible scriptures for help? Certainly, there are a few Bible scriptures that may provide encouragement and guidance as you prepare for your job interview. Okay. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Proverbs. Okay. Okay, and there you go. Okay, let's try another one. Okay. And let's see. Now, my question was, prayer for upcoming job interview? Sure, let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a grateful heart, thanking you for the opportunity this upcoming job interview, for this upcoming job interview. And ask for your guidance and wisdom. Okay? And there's a prayer. Okay? There you go. Okay, now this is Bible references in Greek and Hebrew. Let's see what we can find out for the, the Greek words, for words that we use in the English language. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the microphone for this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, my question. Okay, what Greek words I use for love in the Bible? Okay, in the New Testament, of the Bible Greek words for love I mentioned primarily agape. Yep, philo, Philadelphia which means brotherly love, eros, which is sexual love, I believe, okay, or romantic, stores, okay, family love, okay, all right, now, let's add a, another question to that string, You see my question, what about in Hebrew? Okay. So you see I added to the string the Old Testament the Bible. Hebrew words for love I use to include. I can't pronounce that. Uh, ahava. Okay, deep and enduring love. Chissy. Oh, I'm not even trying to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. But there you have it. The words in Hebrew and in Greek. So, this is your all-in-one Bible toolkit. Now, listen, don't take this as a substitute for the Bible and not reading. You always have to study to show yourself approved. Okay, always. So, listen to, the, you, listen to your Bible. Read your Bible every day. Listen and read every day. Read something and get meaning out of your Bible. But I love I this Bible. I don't know Bible why every in Georgia hasn't claimed this yet. 
the government is basically Let's giving see. me 1,200. Okay, plan. Okay. And I love this tool. So, uh, have fun with this. Get, get um, informed. Get involved. Get prayed up. And I'll see you in the next end.